Rigoletto has long been one of my favorite operas, but I had to find a way to make the story resonant and engaging for a contemporary audience, and at the same time, find a period that would render it timeless and universal. I thought of Las Vegas as being the epitome of certainly an American destiny for the, the kind of, of events that happen in Rigoletto. And thinking that the Duke is maybe a Las Vegas star, maybe he's like a Sinatra type, maybe this is the Rat Pack. And if Rigoletto is the court jester, he could certainly be a hanger on of the Duke who has his own fabulous casino and ballrooms and puts on shows and entertains the masses. So if Rigoletto is one of them, and he has a, this beautiful daughter that he loves, and he's trying to keep her protected from the evils of Las Vegas and all of the temptation. The opera opens in the center of the casino with a wonderful, typically over-the-top, extravagant night of pleasure. Roulette tables and blackjack and one-armed bandits everywhere. I really believe that the intent behind each action in the opera translates very beautifully to the world that we're creating. It's my expectation that once I get to work with these remarkable singers, that we'll discover a whole extra world of texture and character and nuance and a series of, of complicated transactions between people that will um, really inform what the evening is for the audience. Oh, <laughs>